Flora, welcome back. I am filming a haul for some things I ordered around Black Friday, um, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> But this is um, non-planner related things because I thought I would try grouping them into its own video. So the first thing I have here is already out of the package because I received it a few days ago and I really wanted to see it. And this is a new swimsuit. The company is Yaya Bay and I ordered this on Amazon because... Um, it was on like originally like $25 or something and it was on sale for $9.99 <laughs> or $9.95, something like that. So I definitely picked it up because I've had my eye on it for quite a while, but I didn't really need a swimsuit. I have one that fits me that's really pretty that I spent a lot of money on, but I was like $10. I can't resist $10. So it's this beautiful like navy blue. It's a little swim dress and this is the top. It has this uh, blue and white stripe and then you can tie... Um, you know around the neckline and then it's just a little swim dress. Oh my gosh, so cute. Can't wait to try this on. I really hope it fits um, because it's really really adorable. <laughs> um, and then I have, you can't see it, but there's an order from Sephora up there and then this is a purse from Linnea Poulet, Linnea Pell. Linnea Pell. I really don't know how to say the brand, but I will write the name of the brand here. And of course, when I unbox it, you will see it. But I will open my Sephora package first. You guys are probably like, another, another Sephora order, really? But... Of course, as soon as I was done shopping, an item I wanted came back in stock and it was still on sale, so I had to pick it up. Okay, so the first thing is this YSL sample and this is the Volupt Tint in Balm. I don't think I've tried this before. It's called Call Me Rose in number three and there's this itty bitty little brush with it, which is really funny. Um, Here's a little picture of what the normal product is. So we got this little, this little sample here. I don't know the whole like two colors. Um, I guess it's a balm with color inside of it. I'm not huge on lip products, so we will see. I'll probably try it out just to try it out. But um, yeah, I didn't select this as a sample and I don't really like when they do that. <laughs> But what are you going to do? They're free samples, you know? Uh, let's see. This I did pick. This was the Lancer Radiance Awakening Mask Intense with Less 10 or LES 10. Um, I'm not sure when I ordered this. I wasn't sure if it was a, like, face mask or if it was, like, a hair mask. I wasn't sure. Let's see. Can you guys even see that? So... This velvety rich mask melts into the skin, okay, so skin, overnight and delivers powerful com complexes for a complexion that appears bright, even, and radiant. Proprietary LES 10 complex helps hyperpigmentation to appear faded, while the triple tone neutralizing complex targets redness, ashy, and yellow tones to promote a more balanced and even looking complexion, awaken youthful like, looking radiance in all skin tones and ethnicities. So... Um, looks like you just let it stay on overnight and, um, blot extra with a tissue. So again, this is Lancer, uh, uh, Radiance Awakening Mask Intense. So just a little, um, just a little freebie sample, but I enjoy trying skincare this way. <laughs> so here it is. There you go. Um, let's see what else. Okay, I guess that's it for freebies. Um, I don't know. I'm very confused by this whole like freebie situation with Sephora because every time I've put in three freebies and I've checked to make sure that they were there. And now like this one says I only picked one and last time it said I didn't pick any, but I know I did, so... Very weird. Okay, as you can see, this is a, oh, I should probably zoom out. <laughs> this is a Makeup Forever 9 Pan Shadow Palette. This is the um, Artist Shadows 4 Palette. I do have palettes 1, 2, and 3, and I wanted 4, but I didn't really want to pay full price for 4. 
um, and then they had it on sale, but then it was sold out. And I was like, no, I want it. So I put my name on the list to get an update when it came back in stock. And like I said, right after Cyber Monday, it came back in stock, but they still had it on sale. So I think originally they're like $44 and I got it on sale for like $22 or $25. And I was like, yes, please. So here is the little booklet that comes with it. I think there's a look at the palette colors. You get a vamp look, a romantic look, that's pretty, and a seductive look. Okay, so here is the packaging. It's in cardboard packaging with this little bit of like glossy lips on there. And then it tells you all of the colors on the back. They do have this um, letter number system, which I don't love, but M I think is metallic. So six, oh, it looks like they're all metallic. No, matte. I think these are all matte. <laughs> I think Emmy or something is metallic. Um, so let's open it. Yes, these are matte. Okay, so we have a mirror. Let me cover that up real quick. So here are the colors. Look how black that black is. It's like the same color as the packaging. Um, yeah, so you get like a, like this would be the seductive, the romantic, and then the vampy. So you get a black, a gray, or a charcoal, and a white, a hmm, cranberry kind of color, a rosy pink color, and a kind of neutral um, matte medium brown, which is really nice. This one is like a smoky uh, foresty green color, kind of a light camel color, and then a more cream color. I think you can tell the difference on camera between the creamy color and the white color. Very, very, very pretty. Um, I guess we could, I don't know if I want to swatch any of these yet because I still have to open that purse. Um, maybe I'll swatch them after I open the purse. So let's, let's save that. I am super excited about this. So this is how it comes wrapped in this, uh, not tiger print, <laughs> like zebra print. And you can see there the name of the company. I will, of course, leave a link. Um, I love, 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 love their Black Friday sale because it's 50% off. And they have gorgeous leather products. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Let's see, am I still zoomed in at all? Okay, um, so this is what I ordered. The Walker Satchel in Bone. It was already on sale, so it's a $348 purse. It was on sale for $150, and then I got 50% off of that, which was $75, and free shipping. And this is my favorite purse company. My favorite purses. I wear them basically daily. I have a really hard time switching out of these purses. So as you can see, it came wrapped in plastic and tissue paper and all that. The hardware is wrapped. This is just like a leather strap, um, but it is wrapped. You have the, this is gonna be hard to do. <laughs> the strap is tied together. The straps are wrapped. These um, pieces are wrapped together and then you do get a leather swatch. Um, so if you wanna test any products or something, you can test it here instead of on your bag. Make sure that you're not gonna have any color transfer or fading or anything like that, which is awesome. And then this says that they have washed leather used for our handbags that is of superior quality. Slight imperfections or variations are considered normal characteristics of the leather, blah, blah, blah. There's the company name again. And so you can see it is this like creamy bone color. Um, I do have one of their lighter cream purses and I have like a tan purse. This is kind of in the middle. Not exactly like what you would think of for a winter purse, but I think it's stunning. So the base of the purse is, sorry about that box right there. <laughs> the base of the purse is sort of wider and then it tapers up, but it's not as structured as a saddle. Their leather is very, very soft and pliable. Um, which is part of why I like it. It gets very slouchy and pretty. Um, there's some detailing on the back here. The name is embossed gold there. There are some gold feet on the bottom so that when you set it down, you're not getting it all dirty. <laughs> and then it does have these double handles, um, but as you can see, it also comes with a strap. Um, let's see, I don't know if the strap is detachable or not take a look. Yes, it is. So you have a little clasp here so you can remove that strap if you don't want it. 
and I think you saw on the back there is a uh, pull. It has a like light gray kind of lining to it. This is pretty deep. It goes all the way down to about here. And the pull is the same color leather. Nice and long, so if you're reaching for it, you can definitely find it. And then let me get these apart. Okay. So this strap is also adjustable. Um, you have a buckle here so you can adjust the length of it, but like I said, it is also detachable. And then you have the zipper pull. Again, that beautiful gray lining. And let's take some of this out so we can see what the inside is. And then you'll see how slouchy this is also because this is jam packed with stuffing. <laughs> so there is a dust bag in here and it has handles on it. It's a little tote bag. I don't think there's any branding on it, nope. Okay, so the inside has a pocket up here, little zip pocket, um, fairly deep. And then it has the branding on here. And then it looks like we have two slip pockets here and then it is quite deep. Let's see if I can get some light in there. Quite deep. And then let me show you. You guys see how slouchy this is already? Oh, like their leather is just so soft and I love it. Um, but everything is like really reinforced. I've only had one problem with the bag. I literally like wore it to death and then I'm barely ripping the lining of another one that I've had for like 10 years or something crazy. And like the rest of the purse, I mean, it's like the hardware on the bottom is slightly worn and stuff, but it looks practically new. Like I am not ashamed to take it anywhere. It is beautiful, beautiful leather. Now those are black purses. I will have to be more careful with this color, but I spray them so that they are, you know, more protected than things. You just have to be really careful if they rub up against jeans because they turn blue. <laughs> um, but this is so pretty so slouchy. I love it. This blue is very different. Normally their purses are lined in that zebra fabric. Um, this is very, very classy. Like this combination of the gray and like the ivory color. I love it. <laughs> um, and then it has gold hardware or gold colored hardware. So this is my um, walker satchel. And I will try to insert like a, a picture of it like on a person. But Really, really cute. Love how slouchy and beautiful it is. Cannot wait to use this purse. All right, stay tuned for more. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's the big pink Ulta bag. <laughs> I hope you guys have a snack. Um, I am chewing on Scandinavian Tidings. These are like little gummy candies from Trader Joe's. They're real good. <laughs> the lady at the store. Uh, like the, the checkout was like, those are so good. Okay. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, I got a couple different things from Ulta. So let me move this big bag and go through them. So this is what I got from, for myself at Ulta. So the first thing are Batiste dry shampoo, my favorite dry shampoo. And I love this scent, this sweetie scent. It is like candy <laughs> and it's my favorite. The like tropical one is probably my second favorite. Um, but this like far and away love and look at the little, um, nesting dolls on there with the like candy hearts. So cute. So I got two of those. Those were buy one, get one 50% off. And then I got a L'Oreal uh, liquid liner. It has a felt tip. This is my favorite eyeliner. So I usually pick one up probably once every other month or so. And then I got a Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. I think I've shown this before as well. Um, this is the brush. It's like slightly bowed out but not very much and I really love this to separate and get a first coat on my lashes and then I'll go in with like a volumizing after that um, but this is very 
nice. I don't know if it like makes your lashes grow or anything, but who knows? Okay. And then, uh oh, they must have fallen out. <laughs> I did pick up four of these. These are the brow tint, the Ulta Beauty brow tint in medium. I got, got one that was also in soft brown, but it looks similar. I don't know if they're changing their name. But um, I don't know where the other two went. They were buy two, get two free. So I bought four. And then I went to Walgreens. This will be all over the place, you guys. Um, I went to Walgreens and got the Milani eyeshadow primer. I got one for myself and one for my friend who I'm getting some like makeup things for for Christmas. But obviously you need a good base. So I was running out of my, I don't know, Too Faced or something. Um, one of them that I have and I wanted some more. And then of course, after I got home from Ulta today, I got a 20% off coupon in the mail, which is lovely. Um... And then I got, let me move this out of the way. I got this kit for my boyfriend. It is the Try Me Season's Most Coveted Skincare Sampler. You get a $5 coupon or gift card off of a $25 purchase from one of these brands. Um, once you kind of figure out what you like. It also has a bonus sample of three Art of Shaving products. And you get two Jack Black products products, the Turbo Wash Energizing Cleanser for Hair and Body, and the Supreme Cream Triple Cushion Shave Lather. You get a Clinique Maximum Hydrator, a Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel, Lab Series Cooling Shaving Gel, Anthony Exfoliating and Cleansing Bar, and then the Cool Fix um, Gel Lotion. And it was $15. The samples are pretty small, which is fine because I don't know what my boyfriend wants, but he has really dry skin and some facial hair. Um, so I wanted to get him some things. And then once he knows what he wants, I could go back and get him um, whatever it is he wants because he probably won't go to Ulta. <laughs> but I can go get it for him once he decides what he wants. So these are like, these are a half milliliter, I mean a half an ounce. These three are a full ounce and then this is like a mini bar but obviously bar stuff goes a long way and I don't know how big that one is because it doesn't say on the front and then the uh like artist shaving samples are those black ones like behind this plastic if you can see and then the gift card is in there and it comes in this really nice box there are like descriptions and stuff of the products on the back oh I guess I could probably tell you oh no it doesn't tell you how big these are Wait, yes it does. So that little Clinique one is 0.24, 0.24 fluid ounces. This one is real small. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Here are the other two <laughs> brow tints. They were in the other bag, they fell. They fell out. So as you can see, the medium is what I normally get and then this one is the soft brown browned brown <laughs> and in the package it looks like this is a little warmer and then the numbers on the bottom don't match so I don't know if they're getting rid of one um like if they're getting rid of medium and going to soft brown or something I'm not sure I hope it's not really this warm I like a little bit of a cooler toned brow okay and then lastly my friend and I went to Barnes and Noble. So I got some books. Um, I went and was looking for something. I make my students read every Friday um, during their SAT prep class for sustained silent reading because they have to be able to read a test for like four hours. Um, and they're really not good at that. So we read a book of choice to start developing that skill of sustained silent reading. The class is about 45 minutes long. And I finished the last book I was reading, which was called Yesternight, and I needed something new. <laughs> so um, I found a table that was buy two, get the third free, and I actually liked quite a few of the books on it. So I got three books. So the first one I got was The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Um, this is that woman where the doctors like stole cells of hers and then like created all these medical things because of her um, cells to so the polio vaccine, cloning, gene mapping, and more. And the family, like, didn't have 
um, insurance and stuff. So they kind of just got taken advantage of. And I'm a science teacher, so I thought this was going to be really interesting. Um, and yeah, uh, this originally is $16 in paperback. And then I got a book called The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. This is a novel. And it's um, a guy that has a floating bookstore on the Seine River, Seine River in France. And he is really good at like picking out which book a person would benefit from, but he can't like find his own book. Um, and he has, um, he has suffered a heartbreak and she left him with a letter, but he's never opened the letter. And then it's kind of his story based on that. So I thought it sounded really cute. Um, and I've been to that part of France. So yeah, thought it was adorable. And that book was $16. And then I got Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet. And this is um, like a, a Japanese family and a Chinese family um, or like a little boy and a little girl are friends in the 40s and um, like then they can't be friends anymore and because the girl is sent the Japanese girl is sent to an internment camp and then the boy comes back to the hotel to look for her family belongings um, in the basement and then it says a long lost object whose value he cannot even begin to measure and it's his journey for family love and country so yeah never read anything by this author either um these are all new to me um and this one was also 16 dollars. so i bought two books for 16 dollars, and then got a third 16 dollar one free because the cheapest one is free but these were these were all the same price. So here are the books again. And then I also donated a little children's book to a cause that they were, I don't know, funding or having, <laughs> um, like a books for kids for the holidays. So of course had to support that because I'm a teacher and education and reading is important to me. <laughs> okay. So, um, I guess what else I did that day is I looked at Fitbit's for my boyfriend for Christmas. So I don't really know what I'm doing for him. Um, but we went to Best Buy and looked at that, but I did not purchase one of those yet because I don't know what to do yet. <laughs> um, I think that's everything for this part of the haul. Keep on watching. Hey again, Sephora again. <laughs> I don't know you guys, it just, it just happened. Um, okay. So we had a coupon for $20 off an order of $50 or more as a VIB and I also ordered enough so that my VIB um, subscription or whatever it's called renewed status I guess. So there's BI, VIB and VIB Rouge. I've been a Rouge in the past. Personally I don't think it's worth it. I think the benefits of a VIB are pretty good. Um, Rouge is not worth it to me. I wasn't ever like spending the money to be a Rouge on purpose. It just sort of like I was totally addicted to makeup. Um, so that's just what happened. But I'm totally happy with VIB and I paid $10 for the flash shipping last year. And so now this purchase brought me back to VIB for the next year. So I ordered a couple things and I actually got samples this time. This is really dark. Let's see if I can get some better, better lighting. So I got my little samples. I don't think, oh my gosh. And I actually got like what I ordered. I think, um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so this, I don't think I ordered this one, but that's totally fine. I'm excited about this. The Glam Glow, Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. Um, yeah, fun. I got an Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, which I love, and the Bosha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel, which is some sort of skincare moisturizer type thing. I really love gel moisturizer, moisturizers because I have very oily skin and regular like cream moisturizers break me out constantly because it's way too much for my skin to handle. So I love gel moisturizers. 
Okay, what else? We got paper. Um, all right, we got a 100 point sample of the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. So it's just a little like soap kind of thing that you can clean your brushes with. I've had the solid in the past um, and I didn't really want to buy it again, but I was totally fine with it for a 100 point sample. And this will last a little while. You don't need a ton. Next, I got the Sephora Winter Flush Blush Palette really cute packaging. You guys saw how much I liked my um, eyeshadow palette that was from the same like Sephora winter kind of collection. And the blush palette looked really cute. I was going to order it the first time and I didn't. So I was going to order it the second time and I didn't. So third time's the charm, I guess. I think this is my third Sephora order. Ridiculous. I know. I can't get this out. <laughs> I don't want to rip the box though. Let's see. Um, oh my gosh. It's this like foam. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, it's stuck to this foam. Okay, so we have this pretty rose gold packaging and it says winter flush. Um, there are numbers on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea with this palette is that there's the smaller part of each of these is a shimmer and then the two, three, six, seven are mattes. So let's see the colors. Let's get rid of the uh, little mirror here. It's actually a big mirror. Um, so this is like a plummy color with a kind of rose gold, a pink with a light pink shimmer, a bronzy color with a bronzy shimmer I guess and then a matte peach with a peach shimmer they're very very pretty um let's see not in order at all but here are the matte shades I don't mind at all that they're kind of soft colored because I don't want a crazy blush you know <laughs> um so let me uh, get those kind of off my hands so very pretty. Let's just swatch one or two of the shimmer colors. Let's do the light pink. Ooh, that's very pigmented. You could use that as eyeshadow. Um, that one is much lighter than I thought, which I'm glad about. Ooh, the peach is very pigmented. I guess I'm swatching all of them. And the bronze is really pigmented as well. So just that kind of middle shade is a lot less pigmented. The second one from the left there. And of course, the first one on the left is much closer to my skin tone so it's not going to show up as well um, but the peach is really pigmented that golden color is very pigmented as well um, I love the Sephora brand products I think they're really really good and this palette was like $16 I think so basically $4 per blush I'm totally cool with that all right, then I ordered my favorite Lancome Hypnose Mascara in uh, noir black um it doesn't have like a picture of the brush but it kind of it kind of goes out and then in and then out and then in again um and I love this for building volume after I use a lengthening mascara I got this for my friend because she suffers from very very dry hands and she's having problems like finding things that she likes to soothe them so I thought an aloe vera hand mask would be great so I will put this with her Christmas present it's just sort of like a sheet mask for your hand I guess you like put it on like a glove and then you wait um I don't know 15 minutes or something like that yeah 15 minutes and then you massage all the product back into your skin when you're done so that is for my friend more paper Okay, I got this for myself. You guys know I love face masks. This is the Karuna Karma Kit Face Mask Set. I had one of this brand of face mask in the past. Let's see if it's in here. I think it is. So it's like this little little book. You get this information. Again, they're sheet masks. Um, and... You have them all stacked in here. I can get them out. So you have the exfoliating mask, the hydrating mask, the antioxidant mask, and the age-defying mask. And this is the one I had tried in the past. And you guys, legitimately, I was blown away by how 
awesome my skin felt after using this mask. So hopefully these other ones are just as good. Um, it's a little bit smaller set with only four masks and it was a little bit more expensive, but if they all work as well as that one did, like I'd rather have, you know, a mask that works and pay a little bit more, I guess, and not do them as often as long as they actually work. Um, so there's that. Okay, another thing from the Sephora collection, I got the Sephora Snow Glow Face Palette. This packaging is so cute. Um, I don't know what happened right there, but <laughs> it got a little indented. So this is a face palette. I probably did not need both this and the other one, but we got both. So I'm going to show you both. <laughs> this is like highlighters and blushes and bronzers and things. Probably won't be able to get this one out either. Let's see. So this just has numbers on the back as well. No like shade names, which is fine. Um, this is the Snow Glow palette. Look at the little like snow scene at the bottom. That's cute. Uh, you get a big mirror here. And let me cover that up. You get this little uh, overlay plastic thing that I'll just throw away, but that's fine. So you get two highlighters, a bronzer and a blush, and then two transform colors. So they like have some like duochrome kind of ness to them. So this is kind of a greenish. This is a little bit of a blue. You get a pink blush or pink highlight, a coppery highlight, a bronzer and a pink blush. So let's see, we'll swatch across and then I'll do those transform shades after. So oops, let's get some light. Kind of similar to the other palette, but not completely. Um, I like that that blush in the third the third from the left is very, very soft and subtle. Um, that pink highlight is really pretty. I probably won't use the gold highlight on my skin because it's going to be too, too deep for me, but I might use it as eyeshadow. And then our transform shades... I don't know exactly what you do with these. I'll probably use them as eyeshadow, but you have the purpley and the more green tone. Ooh, those are actually quite pigmented. They didn't really look like, especially that purpley one didn't look like it on the hand. I mean, on my finger, um, but those are quite nice. So there are the different shades in this palette, the Snow Glow palette. Again, I love, love the Sephora collection. Totally happy with it. And then I got the Giorgio Armani um, Eyes to Kill Length and Volume Mascara. I will take this one out of the package because I do plan on using this one right away. Um, I don't know if it comes in colors. I mean, it's just going to be black, but I don't know if it has like a color name. And I've wanted to try this mascara for a while, but never have. Very, very luxe packaging with the logo right there. It's a very big tube. Um, and then here is the brush shape. It doesn't look like too wet of a formula. I like that it has a bristle brush. I don't typically buy the rubber, rubber um, bristled brushes because I don't really like them. But we will give this a shot and hopefully I will like it because it's expensive. But I guess I'd be okay with if I didn't like it because I can return it and then I won't be tempted to buy it. <laughs> okay, that is everything from my Sephora order. So I have the samples and the 100 point perk. I have my Giorgio Armani and my Lancome mascaras. I have the Snow Glow face palette, the Winter Flush face palette, and the face mask set. And then for my friend, I have the, uh, what is this? Aloe, aloe vera hand mask. That's the words I'm looking for. So here is my order from Sephora this time. And like I said, I renewed my VIB status. So I get great coupons, like $20 off a $50 purchase. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, you guys. And stay tuned. I think I have just an Ulta order coming. And then we'll probably end this haul because the other stuff I ordered was clothing. And I think it's going to be way too hard to show clothing on here. Um, but yeah, I really like showing the beauty stuff. So there you go. Stay tuned for a little bit more. 
Okay, I'm back with my Ulta order. This is from the same day that I actually went to Ulta, but my Ulta never has what I want in stock. It's very, very frustrating. I don't know if you guys have this problem with Ulta, but I placed an order online after I got home, but I had a 20% off coupon when I got home, so that was cool. <laughs> so let's check out what I got from Ulta. I opened the box, but I haven't grabbed anything yet. So let's just maybe pull it all out and then take a little look. So let's see, let's start here. This is one of my favorite primers. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment. I get the hydrating kind, even though I have oily skin, it's just a nice thin layer. I think I've talked about this before, um, but this is the value size and it is $30. The smaller size is more expensive. I don't understand it. <laughs> and then the day I placed this order, they had a coupon, well not a coupon, they just had a sale that the Bare Minerals foundations were on sale for $19, and they're normally like 30 something, I wanna say. So I picked up one, um, because I do have some already, and I just wanted to make sure I got one while they were a really good deal. So I got the Matte Foundation in Fair, because I am pale. <laughs> I got an e.l.f. Acne Fighting Spot Gel with Aloe. It's just sort of like a, I think it's like a salicylic acid, um, yeah, a salicylic acid treatment in just like a roller ball, and I kind of liked the last one I had, so I picked that up. I picked up two of my favorite concealer because they never have it at my store. So frustrating. <laughs> and then I picked up a couple Morphe brushes because I've never had a Morphe brush before, and you hear so many good things about them online, so I thought I would try them. I don't know how to get this package open, so I think I'll leave it in the package. This is a Morphe M507, and it's like a little kind of tapered tapered blending brush. Very small point. And then I got the Morphe M433, and this is like a fluffier kind of blending brush. Oh, this one you can open easily. Let's see. So it's kind of flat. Um, but it's a little bit fluffier than like a, a brush where you just pat color on. Um, these feel really nice. I hope I like these. And then I bought the M444. Um, it's this weird, I don't even know. <laughs> it's like short and stubby and I thought it would be good for powder foundation. Um, I think it was some sort of foundation brush, but, uh... I don't know. I don't know if it'll be good for powder foundation or not, but I got it. <laughs> Try it out. I don't have any brushes shaped like that. And then I really wanted a setting spray, um, so I got the Duo for the All Nighter from Urban Decay. This is a full-size Duo, so you get two full-size ones. One of these is normally 30 and the Duo is 42 so it's a great deal. They typically have this around the holidays, and I wanted a setting spray, and I like this one, so I picked that up. And then I got the Tony Moly Happy Sweet Holiday Shea, Shea? My Shea Mask Sheet Box. It looks like a little, like, cute little holiday building with little windows and everything. And if you guys couldn't tell, I'm obsessed with sheet masks. I hated them when I first tried them, but I love them now. And I think you get five. So you get a thank you mask sheet. Um, this is nourishing with shea butter you get the love you mask sheet this is for sensitive skin soothes by providing nourishment to the dry and taut skin with shea butter and aloe vera i don't know if these are actually like different from each other this is the be happy mask sheet this has shea butter and hyaluronic acid the share it mask sheet has shea butter and snail extract and then the good luck mask sheet has shea butter and collagen so i guess they are all different from each other um, but they're these cute little cute little ones this would be great for a stocking stuffer um like even if you just put one mask in each person's stocking or something um or like to put this whole little gift set i think it was pretty cheap i think it was like ten dollars 
four or five masks. Um, I don't remember exactly, but it was a good deal. So I picked that up. So this is everything from my Ulta haul. And I think that's everything that's going to be in this haul because um, I think all the rest of it was closed, like I said. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you've tried Morphe brushes, um, what, what do I need to know? <laughs> I forget the ones that like people mention all the time. I, I never keep track. Um, I just picked ones that I thought looked nice. So let me know and tell me what's your favorite setting spray. I love different setting sprays and I'm oily so I don't want a dewy skin finish kind of thing. Um, but let me know what your skin, your skin is. Let me know what your favorite setting spray is and I will maybe check that out. And I hope you guys had a great time Black Friday shopping and any recent shopping with any coupon codes and things. Um, definitely check Ebates down below. If you don't have an Ebates account, you are missing out on getting money back online. You just go to the website, put in what store you're shopping at, and then it'll take you to the uh, store um, and then you can check out like normal and then you get money back, a percentage back based on the store and eventually you have enough money and time passes so that every quarter you get a check or a PayPal or whatever and then you get money back from shopping. So if you haven't checked out Ebates, it's totally legit. I've been doing it for years and my link is down below if you need an account. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great one and I will talk to you later. Bye!